Ever wondered how your favorite tomato ketchup is made? It all starts with the humble tomato, the star of our story. Each year, fields upon fields of this vibrant red fruit, yes, it's a fruit, are harvested using specialized machinery. These machines, like modern-day marvels, gently pluck the ripe tomatoes from their vines, ensuring they are at the perfect stage of ripeness for our journey. These fresh, juicy tomatoes are then transported to a production facility where they are about to undergo a transformation. Here they are sorted and washed, ensuring only the best of the best make it through. They are then crushed into a coarse puree, the first step in their transformation from simple tomato to the beloved condiment that graces our tables. And so our tomatoes are off to the next step, getting ready to become the ketchup that we all love. This is just the beginning of the tomato's journey. Stay tuned to see what happens next. And once the tomatoes arrive at the production facility, the magic begins. The first act of this enchanting spectacle involves ripe tomatoes being meticulously sorted. This sorting process ensures that only the finest tomatoes continue their journey towards becoming ketchup. Once selected, these chosen tomatoes are then gently washed to remove any residual dirt or impurities. Following this, our tomatoes are then crushed into a coarse puree. This crushing process breaks down the cell walls of the tomatoes, releasing their flavorful juices and creating a thick, vibrant mush. It's this mush that forms the very essence of our future ketchup. Now our tomato puree needs to be preheated. This heating process is important for several reasons. Firstly, it helps to kill off any harmful bacteria that might be lurking within our puree. Secondly, it softens the tomato flesh, making it easier for the next stage of our process, the removal of the skin and seeds. To do this, the preheated puree is passed through specialized equipment. This equipment works to separate the skins and seeds from the puree, leaving us with a smooth, rich tomato paste. This paste is now free from any unwanted elements and is ready to be packaged. The packaging process is the final step in this stage of our ketchup's journey. The tomato paste is packed into airtight containers, preserving its freshness and flavor. These containers also ensure that our paste is protected from any external elements that could compromise its quality. Once safely packaged, our tomato paste is stored, waiting patiently for its turn to be transformed into the delicious ketchup that we all know and love. Now that our tomatoes have been transformed into a puree, they're one step closer to becoming ketchup. From the storage, the tomato paste is transported to the ketchup kitchen, a place where the magic unfolds. This is where our humble tomato paste is elevated to the status of the beloved ketchup. The process is simple, yet intricate, involving a delicate balance of ingredients that come together to create a symphony of flavors. The paste, now a concentrated essence of tomatoes, is first mixed with water to restore its original consistency. This is a critical step as it ensures the smooth, pourable texture that we associate with ketchup. From here, the mixture is introduced to a selection of sweeteners. These might include cane sugar or corn syrup, which lend ketchup its characteristic sweetness and help to balance out the natural acidity of the tomatoes. Next, vinegar is added to the mix. This not only enhances the tangy flavor profile of the ketchup, but also acts as natural preservative, giving the ketchup a longer shelf life. The seasoning stage is where the ketchup truly comes to life. Salt is added to intensify the flavors, while a secret blend of spices and flavorings unique to each brand is introduced. This could include anything from onion and garlic powders to cinnamon and clove, each contributing to the complex flavor profile of the ketchup. Once all the ingredients are combined, it's time for the cooking process. The mixture is circulated by rotating blades and heated gently for 30 to 45 minutes. This allows the flavors to meld together and the excess water to evaporate, resulting in a rich, thick sauce. Throughout the cooking process, the ketchup is constantly stirred to prevent it from sticking to the bottom of the pot and to ensure a uniform consistency. The heat also helps to sterilize the ketchup, killing off any potential pathogens and ensuring that it's safe to eat. And there you have it. Our mixture is now cooked into a rich and flavorful ketchup, ready for packaging. The ketchup kitchen has worked its magic, transforming simple ingredients into a sauce that's loved worldwide. But the journey isn't over yet. Stay tuned to find out how this ketchup makes its way from the factory to your dinner table. Oh, the final step in the journey of our ketchup is packaging and distribution. Now, 
Let's talk about the design of the ketchup bottle which is as deliberate as it is iconic. Most ketchup brands use what's known as keystone-shaped plastic bottles, a design that was pioneered by Henry Heinz. The curved neck encourages a smooth outflow of ketchup, while the narrow mouth minimizes exposure to air, preserving the product's freshness. And the transparency of the bottle? It's not just for show, it allows customers to see the product, assuring them of its freshness and quality. Moving on to the packaging process, the ketchup is dispensed into these bottles with the help of a filler. This machine is not just a simple dispenser, it also checks the weight of each bottle to ensure consistency. Once the ketchup is dispensed, the bottle is sealed immediately to lock in all that tangy goodness, but we're not done yet. The freshly sealed bottles are then cooled to prevent any loss of flavor. This cooling process is an essential step as it helps to maintain the product's shelf life. Once cooled, the bottles are labeled with all the necessary product information. This includes the ingredients, nutritional facts and, of course, the brand's logo. Before these bottles embark on their journey to the supermarkets, they may undergo an inspection to ensure that only the best quality ketchup reaches your table. The scale of production in a typical factory is impressive, to say the least. In a span of two to three hours, a factory can produce about 1.8 million bottles of ketchup per day. That's a lot of ketchup. And there you have it, the journey of a tomato from the field to your table transformed into your favorite ketchup.